Hey guys, what's up? It's JT here with another video. And in this video, we're going to be going over something a little different. And I don't normally, I'm not going to normally be doing this on my channel. It's just since I'm uploading every day, I don't want to, you know, burn right through all my life stories. I'm not going to burn right through anything through, you know, with my tips and tricks for, you know, smoking and psychedelics and stuff. So I don't want to burn through all that stuff. And I want to keep the content fresh and new every single day. So in this video, we're actually going to be doing some cotton news. And I'm not going to be doing this too much. It's not really one I'm base my channel around. But I will probably do this maybe once or twice a week. So in this video, we're going to be going over the Infinite Warfare slash uh, Battlefield 1 trailer. And the trailers that I saw, it seemed like one was a lot better than the other, in my opinion. In my opinion. I saw that, and well, in a lot of people's opinions, too. It seemed as though that the Black, uh, no, Black Ops, fucking, I keep mixing that shit up. The Battlefield 1 trailer just seemed like it was much different it was offering much more to the to the to, to the consumer it just seemed like it was offering a lot more newness right it was much more new where and that's why i think where people are be drawing lines here and drawing sides is because one's offering a lot of new things whereas the other one just kind of seems like it's offering the same thing kind of recycled gone through a little bit of you know magic dust and then just kind of shed out that's what it seems like but i mean that's kind of what we come to expect with call of duty it's usually what they do so let's just start with infinite warfare so infinite warfare what we saw was the big thing, the huge criticism in the videos that I've been seeing now is that because this is one little scene where this guy's jumping over a, a tank, it seems. It was like some tank or something. He's jumping over it, but he has an exosuit jump. You know, it seems like an exosuit jump. Although uh, the, the community for uh, Call of Duty has gone out and said that there are going to be no advanced movements in the game. So it's going to be interesting to see how that goes. It does seem like it's going to be like in the campaign, though, because that was a campaign trailer. So it seems like it's going to be evident in the campaign, but probably not for multiplayer since they've already formally said that it wasn't going to be in there. So there's one distinction there. The other thing I wanted to kind of go into for uh, Infinite Warfare was that they're also selling the remastered version of Call of Duty 4. Now, personally, I'm super psyched for that. I saw that towards the end, and that looked really cool. I'm not... It doesn't... Infinity, War Infinity Warfare does not look appealing to me, but you know what does look appealing to me, and a lot of people who are going to agree to this, is Call of Duty 4. So, what do these genius marketers have done? They've made it so that in order to get Call of Duty 4, you have to get Infinity Warfare. That's right, they played you. So that's what they're doing. They're making it so that you cannot buy the game separately. You have to buy Infinity Warfare in order to get Call of Duty 4. And if there's any way to get around it, because people were talking about their way around it, you have to have an Infinity Ward code or something like that. It's got some code related to it in order to get that, um, in order to get Call of Duty 4 to play on it, remastered version. So that seems pretty sketchy. I didn't really like that when I heard about that. I would have just preferred if they just sold it separately so for like 40 bucks or something like that. 40, 50 bucks. I think that would have been so much fair. They probably would have gotten more, I don't know. They're probably still going to get away with their money as they always do. So we'll see how we'll see how it happens. You know, personally, not being hugely attached to the franchise, what I've noticed where the biggest difference in people who are who are against this game right now are the newer players who are kind of open to the idea and the concept of infinite warfare. Don't really have that much hate. They're in the minority, huge minority. However, then you have the old guys who've been who've been playing the game for a while. I've been playing since COD 4. I'd say I've been playing since and Modern for two online. And I gotta say, I don't really like the change that they made, especially with the exosuits. And it seems like this kind of, I just don't even like the, I, I'm more against the it, the advanced technology. I just don't like that. I kind of liked when they were kind of going away in the past, they were going to the future. Well, not the future, they were going to the past, and then we're going to the present, and then we're going to like an alternate present. Uh, present. So it seemed kind of interesting what they were doing to, all throughout the Modern Warfare. And then you had Modern Warfare 3, which was okay. And, you know, it seemed like it was going all right. And then Advanced Warfare drops. And suddenly now you kind of lose my attention. And I'm, I'm, I'm the person that, you know, that wanted kind of just like another Call of Duty recycled. And I would have been fine with another Call of Duty if they just recycled it. But then again, it's hard to say what it would have been like. Because if they just recycled the same idea, would people be complaining about that? So it's interesting because people were always complaining about how Call of Duty was always recycled. And now that it's finally not, and they finally moved over to that kind of futuristic sort of thing... Now people are hating it. So it seems like, I mean, in defense of Call of Duty, it seems like they just can't do anything right with the people. When they try to please the people, they don't want it. So it seems, I mean, it's just a step in the wrong direction. But I have no, I don't have too much mercy for them because DICE has done the same thing and they've gotten hate for it. But every time they've done it, they've never strayed away from changing it again. I mean, we saw it with Battlefield Hardline. A lot of people were huge fans of Battlefield. And then Hardline drops with, you know, with the cops and robbers sort of feel to it, and people didn't like it. And then, you know, they dropped Battlefront, and Battlefront, people were just kind of like, it needs a little more. And now they drop, you know, 
uh, Battlefield 1, which you see in the trailer, and that looks amazing, and people seems like it, be, it seems like that's gonna sell fantastically. Whereas for Infinite Warfare, although my guess is it's gonna sell good, what we see from just the video and the dislikes and you know everything surrounded by it, it doesn't look like it's gonna sell, but you know, we all know the reality. The reality is they're gonna get their money's worth. And I think the genius behind it was the Call of Duty 4. I think the Call of Duty 4 is gonna be the changing point because the reason why they're gonna sell. Now, you know, because I said the people that want it, that want Infinite Warfare for Infinite Warfare are the minority. You know, a lot of people are not really open to the concept of Infinite Warfare. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens in the future, guys. So that's enough of me giving my opinion. I hope you guys enjoy these sort of type of uh, these type of videos. You know, I'm, I'm probably going to implicate them as I said before, maybe once or twice a week. So if you guys enjoy them, you guys have any sort of suggestions for videos similar to this one, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about the trailers. Also, leave that down in the comments below. It's been a great journey so far. We're coming up on 400. 400 subscribers, so it's been great, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.